Hello, my name is Lilia Nwanjiko Masharia. a mother of three. Um, I love the Lord and uh, also the founder and uh, the creative director of Mustard Mosaics. I started Mustard Mosaic as a business um, in 2020 at the height of COVID. Were, that time we were home and uh, essentially I was looking at uh, ways of beautifying my home, my compound. I am a lover of art. I have a passion for interior design. I have a passion for landscaping. So part of it was uh, looking at ways I can uh, beautify my compound. Uh, and one of the ways I saw how to was to recreate the pottery industry. What inspired me was the way pots are looking, the, the normal clay pots. Most of them, after a while, they start looking uh, weary, they start looking a bit dull, most of them crack. So I wanted to find a way of which I can still use the same uh, clay pots, but also enhance, enhance them, but not painting. Enhance them using something um, to make them more beautiful. That is how I now started looking for using my own pots of ways I can enhance the beauty. That is how I came up with cladding them using, um, I started with glass, then I went to stone, and now I'm using uh, tiles, the, the mosaic tiles. Yes, I was employed um, the, in the previous years I was employed, but gen I'm generally an entrepreneur. I'm a business person, so I've been more into business, but now what, what makes uh, the Mustard Mosaic stands out is now the business that I'm doing is something, number one, I have a passion with. Uh, passion is what drives me to do what I'm doing now. Uh, number two, um, definitely beautifying my compound is what also encouraged me. The feedback from my, my, my neighbors also inspired me now to start it as a business because they were very shocked and excited at the same time that I can create something like this and make their compounds and their homes pop. Well, yes, I, um, I started my business with the small savings I had and also definitely a boost from my husband. Um, I started with what I had in my compound then um, I had a pot, I had pieces of glass here and there, I had mosaic tiles here and there, and uh, also the general tiles that I used. Made that for my compound, a neighbor came, so she liked. I made for her, a friend came, so she liked it. She ordered it, and that is how I started now selling uh, through now word of mouth, and now I'm also now doing uh, social media and uh, online selling. My raw materials, most of them are sourced uh, locally, but there are some which are imported, like for example, the mosaic tiles, they are not um, easily found locally. Uh, the pots, the pots I get them locally, and everything else I get locally. But now there are some of the, the mosaic tiles that I have to import. The period it takes to make one pot, or one vase, or one mirror, or one bad feeder, uh, takes roughly two to three weeks depending on the availability of the material, the design at which the clients uh, want, uh, yes, and the period which will take to make. So I cannot give an exact uh, time period, a time frame of the time taken to make a pot because there are many things that we look at before we tell a customer how long it's going to take. Master, we say there are two types of clients. We have the difficult clients and we have the unreasonable clients. So the difficult client is someone who wants something specific to be done to them, who wants a special um, detail attached to their pieces which they have requested. So we actually love our difficult client because they stretch us and they make us think outside the box. 
Now, for the reasonable clients, we just let them be because there are some things which cannot be attained and definitely maybe someone who wants something extraordinary and they are not really willing and ready to um, pay the price for it. We do have employees at Mustard Mose. Currently, we are three. That is including me. And um, so we have someone who makes the mosaics, makes the pieces, there's someone who does the sales and marketing, and we have the driver. Well, my target market is broad. Anybody and everybody is my target market because depending on, everybody wants a, a plant, I would say a plant in their home, in their offices, in a hotel, yeah, and, the, and, and Mustard Mosaic is the right place for you because we custom make and we, make, we will make your space pop. How we handle pressure is uh, we are very truthful and honest with our clients. So as I have told you, um, one of the factors we look for for, for our clients is uh, where we get our pots from. So number one, before I commit to a client, I have to first know if the, the kind of pot or vase or mirror they want is currently available and if the material is available. Then if it is available, we tell them how long the process is going to take. And every two days, we take a picture and send to the client for confirmation and to show you the progress and where we are at the moment. Uh, we try to be very honest with our clients and uh, we communicate through WhatsApp most of the time and um, send them photos of where we are at the moment. For example, we've told, we've told our clients we are um, to give us three weeks to make for them um, maybe an order of 10 pots. So we, from the, from where we get our pots, we have to take a picture and show them where we've taken the pots or the pots have been made. If the potter has sent a photo to me, we send them to them. Um, if the pots are ready, we tell them now we are going to collect the pots today. Um, this is where we are. Uh, after two days, we now send again the, we like to also uh, accommodate them and also get them involved. When, while making the pot so that we go step by step with them. Basically, we are an online company. I work from home. This is where my workshop is. Uh, but um, I have, uh, I have uh, collaborated with a friend, um, Angie's Creations. She's in Lovington. We are trying to set up a shop uh, there so that uh, the people in Lovington and its environs can go get their what they want in her shop but also they can chat us up on um, on Facebook uh, Instagram Twitter and also we have a website www.mustardmosaic.com and WhatsApp uh, all my numbers are in that in, in all those platforms they can chat me up and uh, we can take it on from there Our prices, yes, they vary from uh, a thousand bob onwards. Uh, that will be determined by the by the uh, uh, the size of the pot, or the vase, or the mirror, or the bird feeder. Um, number two is the mosaic use. As, as I have told you, uh, most we get most of our, we, we import some of our products from China and some from Italy. So depending on the products use, and also depending on the material and the time the time frame used to make that specific products. Most of our pieces are custom made, so we try as much as possible not to recreate what someone else, especially if it is a custom order. We try not to do that to someone. This is something new in the Kenyan market. There's no one else doing this, apart from mustard mosaics. Um, the Kenyan market is slowly embracing the art. Yes, when we are happy because they are uh, coming to appreciate that you can actually have uh, something like this in your compound, adding some color to your home. The challenges I face most of the time is uh, when ordering my pots from the potters, our local uh, potters. Um, so as I have told you, uh, it takes a while before they are made. Some, some come out not exactly as you had ordered them. And you know you have waited for, I think, 
around two to three weeks. So then again, you have to go back to the customer and tell them um, maybe some of the pots were broken when, when they were being burnt. Or, or yeah, so many challenges come up, especially you no know, on the side of the porter. Yes. And also when importing, um, when importing some items, some stay longer than we expect. God is the number one factor, my family, and most of all, uh, growing mustard mosaic as an art and as a business, uh, making people um, come to appreciate and understand um, the process of uh, cre creating art using the several uh, materials you have in your home to make uh, beautiful pieces. The mistakes I've made, uh, those were while I was starting the business, definitely when I was very green. Um, I told you it started as a hobby. Uh, taking up clients' orders without commitments. Yes, yeah, so, well, that was my biggest, biggest mistake because at the end of the day, maybe you've made something for a client, they've come, they've not liked. Um, instead of uh, giving you a chance to correct it, and I was still very new to this industry, um, they leave you with the products. You have already uh, invested in buying the mosaics, the pots, the raw material, so now what happens? But uh, eventually, after a while, now we came to learn the business and we came now to make, knowing how to make customers commit to it before embarking on making a product. I market using, uh, I started with word of mouth, as I had told you, um, selling to one person, then a friend comes, sees, they want the exact same thing or they want something a bit different. But now I've now gone to social media. Social media is really working on the online market, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Um, through, through the social media, I've been able to get so many, so many um, clients and also using influencers once in a while. What I have achieved so far is uh, number one, I have grown as a person and as a business person. Um, I have learned things I had not learned previously in this business. Um, also, um, growing a business from a hobby is something very exciting and uh, seeing how clients and uh, my friends, my families are appreciating what I am doing really, really motivates me. And also, the um, fact that uh, one of my very first pieces, I took them to my church, Rejoice Baptist Church, and they were re really uh, warmly accepted. Uh, they were part of a uh, dedication uh, of the business, and uh, I'm really happy for the fire have come. The rules uh, which I stick to as, um, as the owner and founder of, uh, of the Mustard Mosaic, Number one is honesty, being honest with myself, being honest with my employees, and being honest with my clients. I tell them as it is, I tell them uh, what it's uh, going to take for me to create a piece for them. I really try to be honest with them. Another thing is uh, perfectionism. Uh, yes, I'm a perfectionist. So doing, uh, creating an image, uh, coming up with a piece and, and if I'm selling that piece I have to make sure before it leaves here I have to assess it even if I'm not the one who's made it I have to assess it and make sure it is in a very good condition before it comes out of that gate. Number three is uh, 
also making my customers uh, and my clients outside there think outside the box and know that they can uh, they can have such lovely pieces at their home not the kawaida clipboards that they have so talking to people and uh, telling them now this is what is in the market this is now what is uh, this is what is happening <laughs> and you need to have it We have sold pieces in Nairobi, we have sold pieces in Kajiado, and uh, we are soon selling to Eldoret as I have gotten an inquiry. Of, in fact, I am on, in the process of knowing how I will be able to deliver to Eldoret and talking to the various um, people who deliver uh, goods. So it, it is growing, I am getting inquiries all over. There's someone in Mombasa who uh, was inquiring also about them. And even there was someone from uh, Zambia who wanted to know how they can reach to Zambia. So yes, uh, we are expanding by God's grace. Uh, people are coming to appreciate them. And uh, one thing that we have, we have done since the beginning is we deliver and we make sure that goods are delivered in perfect condition. Well, uh, my long-term plans are number one, um, growing the mosaic industry, um, growing it as an art and also as a business and also um, knowing that in the next five years I want to grow into the into, into becoming into a medium-sized uh, business and also creating employments for our youth out there. The do's and don'ts uh, number one is to uh, find uh, for example, you're looking for a supplier, find a reliable one, someone who will not call you, someone who will not sell you counterfeit products. Number two is also when you're looking for a porter um, for the ports, also you need to look for someone um, a, 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 someone with good credentials, someone you know, even if you want um, a big, large number of products, they'll be able to deliver. What I will tell my fellow entrepreneurs and the youth out there is follow your passion. I have tried very many businesses, but this is my passion and this is what has worked out. Follow your passion, trust God and start. Start today. Whatever it is that you're thinking about, start today. Don't procrastinate. Yes, you don't know if you'll still have the idea tomorrow if God will give someone else that idea tomorrow. Start today. You can reach me through my social media handles. Uh, those are Mustard Mosaic on Instagram, on Facebook, and on uh, Twitter. My website is www.mustardmosaic.com. Uh, and uh, just uh, write me a message, leave me a DM, and I will get back to you immediately. From there, we can check, uh, check the next steps, which will uh, either I'll give you a call or chat on WhatsApp. Know exactly what you want, get your order, and work on it. You can also get our products uh, in Lovington, directly opposite Lovington Malls, Angel's Creation, you can get our products there.